Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is high discharge pressure. Okay, the higher the pressure, the less efficient the system is. Okay, so say you have an R22 system, and it's all the way up at 350 psig. Okay, that is a very very high uh, temperature for R22. On the lesser efficient sear ratings, like maybe an eight sear or a ten sear. Um, you shouldn't have it that high, but the, the head pressure will be higher on a lesser efficient unit. Sear is seasonal energy efficiency rating. Okay, but at 350 PSIG, you're looking at a saturation temperature in the middle of the condenser coil at about 143 degrees in the middle of the condenser coil. Now that could be due to a few different things. Um, we know that this side has to do with the outdoor unit. Okay, it has to do with the condenser coil. All right, this has to do with the vapor side, okay? So our liquid has to do with the condenser um, as far as this gauge set and how we're reading this, subcooling. And you're reading this as superheat for the evaporator coil. All right, so 143 degrees. That could be uh, excessive non-condensables in your refrigerant line, okay? There could be uh, some nitrogen in the line. There could be some air in the line or the the normal thing that you might see is just the fins are wore out. All right, when the fins deteriorate and the salt air, especially if it's uh, you know near a beach or something like that, uh, the salt air really erodes the condenser coils, and then you have high discharge pressure. The higher the discharge pressure, the less efficient it is. So you can actually figure out a compression ratio by whatever this pressure is, psig, divided by the evaporator coil uh, psig. The higher that ratio is, the less efficient the unit is. Okay, so you want to have your your uh, liquid pressure lower. Uh, that would be that would be more efficient. All right. Uh, so, but you want to make sure you get it up high enough to get your proper subcooling rating if the unit is equipped with a TXV. All right. So, so that's basically some things that could be wrong if you have a high head pressure. Basically, it cannot reject its heat properly. All right. Um, that would also happen, say, if the condenser fan uh, shut off, uh, or just say in the case of a geothermal uh, unit, maybe the, uh, the water to refrigerant heat exchanger, maybe it has some uh, calcium on the inside of it due to like an open water setup or sediment in there. And what that does is it stops the the refrigerant from rejecting the heat into the water if it was a geothermal unit. Okay, uh, but that's basically just a, a scenario of, of what it could be if you have high discharge pressure. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.